Yo, what's going on gamers, coders, speedrunners, and all-around game enthusiasts? This is Joystick, Justin here, and welcome to Java Quick Tutorials. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to close your program. How to force it to close. So, what I have right here is this program. It'll just keep printing still running over and over and over. And it's wall true, so that's never going to stop. So if I run it, it's just going to keep printing still running in the console. And it's never going to stop. Because there's no code in here telling it to stop. It's while true. Well, it's all, it true is always true, so it's never going to stop. So how do I force it to close? Now, maybe I could just change this while statement to have something else. But maybe I just want to close. Let's say I want to close after five seconds. Well, here's what I would do. Um, first, I'm going to make the program that will actually close it. So public static void close. So static because a static the, the main method is static, so I have to have that be static. A static method only can run another static method. So then I'm going to go system.exit. And it's that simple. System.exit is the code to run to close your program. So if I put system.exit right here, then it's going to run, still running once, and then it's going to close the program. See? Terminated. Right here it says that the game is terminated. So, yeah. Um, so let's say after five seconds I wanted to close the program. Well, I can go current time equals system dot current time milliseconds. And then I will go, this has to be a long variable type because milliseconds can get pretty long. And then int time equals 5,000. And then I'm going to simply go if current time, if current time is greater, uh, well, actually, if it's less than time, we're going to still keep running because it's not, it hasn't reached the time yet. It's going to just print, well, we're still running. We're still running. And then else, otherwise, it's going to close. Um, and then the other thing I have to do is you have to make sure you update your current time. And that's 500. And then the last thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have a previous time. Which equals the current time. And that's going to be previous time plus the time difference. So what this will do is after five seconds, it will close the program. It'll run this close after five seconds have passed. And there you go. You can see the program is terminated. So it's this simple. This line of code right here will stop your program from running completely. So now let me show you a practical use of this. So here's an example of a game that I'm coding that uses that. So we're going to open the main game of the code. Don't look at all this. I'm going to just focus on, just focus on close. So I have a few things more than just system.exit. But I, I have two threads. And if you don't know what a thread is, you can watch my video that I'm going to upload about threads. But we have running equals false and tick thread runner. So that's the two threads. They stop running. Um, and then the frame, I dispose of it, which means that this frame, the, the, this window program, it sets up the J frame, which is like this little, it's the window that appears when you first open up your game. Uh, I dispose of it, which means that we just close it. It gets disposed of. And then for added measure, we do system.exit. Now you could just run these three. And if there's no, if there's no threads running and there's no frame open, then the game will close on its own. So if I remove system.exit, and run the game. Here's my game. If I click quit game, it runs for a few seconds, but then it realizes it's terminated now. So it runs for a few seconds and then realizes, well, there's nothing open, there's no resources being used anymore. We're just going to stop this program. System.exit, it kind of just closes it faster, but also just like it makes sure the game really does close. So here it is again. Quit game, it terminates immediately. So that's how you close your game. Any program you make, doesn't have to be game, any program you make, system.exit, uh, that'll close it. So, 
Thank you for watching. And as always, don't forget to keep on gaming. I'll see you in the next one.